How's my hair? Yeah. All right. Let me get serious. Welcome back, America. Check this out. So let me put these on. Let's be professional. So Joel Baboso Biden, he says that he might bail out of the race now if a doctor diagnoses him with being un baboso. Listen to this. If I had some medical condition that emerged, if somebody, if the doctors came to me and said, you got this problem, that problem. But I made a serious mistake on the, in, the, in the whole debate. And, uh, and look, when I originally ran, you may remember it, I said I was going to be a transitional candidate. And I thought that I'd be able to move from this, just pass it on to someone else. Now, if that weren't bad enough, Joel Baboso Biden last week had a whole different cuento, right? He had a different story. Last week, his story was uh, slightly different. He was saying last week that he would bail out of the race if Vice President Kemala Eres could beat Joe, uh, no, if Kemala Eres could beat Donald Trump better than he could. Listen to this one. Um, <laughs> you earlier explained confidence in your vice president president. Yes. If your team came back and showed you data that she would fare better against former President Donald Trump, would you reconsider your decision to stay in the race? No, unless they came back and said, there's no way you can win. Me. No one's saying that. No poll says that. Okay. Thank you. This, this has to All right. And if that weren't bad enough, the week before that, he said, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying in the race. Guess what? They're trying to push me out on the race. No. Well, let me say this as clearly as I can. I'm staying in the race. Yeah. I'll beat Donald Trump. I will beat him again in 2020. OK, now, I don't know which Biden we're going to get today, tomorrow or next week. One thing I do know is he's got hairy legs and the pressure. You know the thing, man.